I don't have a whole pineapple, but if you do, just grab the top of it in one hand and the pineapple in the other and twist and the top should come free and you'll have a little round stump thing on the bottom of the leaves. Between all the leaves, pineapples have these little node things which will turn into roots. So we need to peel the leaves off to expose them. Just grab the bottom leaf and pull it downwards and, and just keep going all the way around the stem. You'll probably end up with lots of little bits of leaf like still stuck to the stem, but that's fine. Don't worry about that. Just keep going until you've got a decent amount of stem showing. About an inch is probably good depending on the size of your pineapple. You don't want to leave too many leaves on there because there's no roots to support them at the moment, but we do need to leave some on there so that it can photosynthesize. Okay, so here's my de-leafed pineapple top and you see these little knobbly things? Those are the nodes that are going to turn into roots and because they're kind of hard to see on the video, I took a photo that shows them a bit better. Before we chuck it in water, we need the exposed end to callus over to just kind of dry out a bit and grow a bit of a skin. So I put mine upside down somewhere for a day or two and once the end dries out and develops a skin, it is ready to get dunked. So grab a glass jar or something where the pineapple can kind of hang on the top and the bottom of the stem isn't going to hit the bottom of the jar or the cup or whatever you're using. And place it, your pineapple in there and pour some water in so that it covers most of the exposed stem and then just stick that in some bright indirect light. I like to leave a little bit of stem above the water line so that the leaves don't get wet, otherwise it can start to rot and it's just going to be gross and horrible. It takes a little while for the roots to start growing, but change out the water every couple of days and if it starts to smell bad or the stem starts to look mushy or rotted, then you'll need to start over with a fresh one. Mine's been in the water for about two weeks and check out the roots, they're probably about a centimetre long. If yours hasn't started to grow roots after a couple of weeks and you've been changing out the water, then just check that your pineapple top hasn't gone mushy or anything like that and take a really close look at the nodes to see if there's any growth at all. As long as there's no signs of rot, I would give it another week or two. Maybe it will start growing. Maybe it's just a slow starter. Once the roots do start growing, they do grow quite fast. So this is another week later. So it's three weeks since I started this one. And I think this is a good time to get it into soil. You could leave it in water longer, but the sooner you get it into soil, the better. The smaller the roots are, the easier it is to move without damaging them. And the soil has all the nutrients and stuff that pineapples need to grow. So the sooner it's in proper growing conditions, the better. I'm using a regular old six inch plastic pot filled with some regular old potting soil and fill it up with soil to about an inch from the top plus however long your stem is. So my stem's about another inch so I'm filling it up so it's two inches from the top. Then balance your pineapple on the top stem side down and try and spread those roots out a bit. They are flexible but be gentle with them. You don't want to snap any of them off and fill in around the edges with more soil until it comes up to the top of the stem and give it a really good water until the water comes out of the drainage holes. The soil level will probably go down a bit, so just add a bit more on there until it reaches the top of the stem again and water it again. Don't bury it too deep. You don't want any of the leaves under the soil level and try and leave just kind of a small ring of space below the leaves because if they're in the soil, then they're gonna start to rot. So just have a check all the way around it and move any soil that is touching the leaves. The roots are still developing, they're quite small at the moment and we don't want them to dry out. So I water mine whenever the top layer of soil starts to look dry and I keep it indoors in bright indirect light. And once the roots are big enough to hold it in place without it wobbling about, when it's a bit more established, I'll start hardening it off so it can get loads of lovely sun in the garden and grow huge and maybe in a couple of years it will bless me with a pineapple and I'll plant the top of that one and it will be the circle of life. 